as Emparza Dance and their great new single, Changeling. I'm with singer George Porter. Now, George, tell us, who exactly are Empires at Dance? It's a good question, actually. Empires at Dance, we are... We're a studio-based uh, project. Um, it's myself uh, with uh, Gordy Gowdy and Andy Innes. Um, Gordy's done quite a bit of work with Simple Minds and he's co-written some of their big hits uh, recently, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the Empire of Dancer. Now, what inspired the band to cover this very early Simple Minds track? I think I think it's just such a good song, and um, we just wanted to bring it into the 21st century. It, it, it's a song, you know when you have a song, it just never leaves you. Changeling's one of those songs from the moment I heard it. It was released, I think, in 1979, and it's just never left us. It's always stayed in my psyche, and it was the same way with Andy and it was the same with Gordy so that's uh, why we've, we've chosen it How did you approach bringing it up to date from a late 70s track? I think um, I think technology um, kind of helps you with that and um, bring things up to date in any event but we changed the arrangement of it and we didn't want to tamper with it too much in terms of taking it away from being unrecognisable um, so we, 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 were, we were quite selective in what we wanted to do with it we had a very specific idea Andy gave us the germ of it um, when he sent us a file up and uh, Gordy and I just got to work with it. I'm just a singer, it's really, really down to Gordy and uh, Andy Innes. George, the band have produced a video to accompany the single. Tell us a bit about the video. The video, <laughs> the video's actually taken on uh, a life of its own um, out with the single. Um, it was meant to be a promotional, it is a promotional tool for it, but there was as much fun making the video as there was uh, uh, putting, the, putting the song together and we, we recorded it, uh, a part of it in Edinburgh and, but the majority of it we filmed it in one day in Glasgow using all the best bits of, of Glasgow because there's that many great things in Glasgow as you know um, so there's a few uh, cameos from um, Simple Minds people uh, in it as well and you'll have to watch it uh, to see it so yeah, um, go, and, go and watch it when it comes out it's, uh, it looks a lot of fun. It's like uh, people spotting in the video, but the video is very good utilising the locations in Glasgow. It's a bit like spot the location as well. Yeah, yeah, no, we, 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 we filmed it on, uh, on locations that were on the Glasgow underground. And I think I was telling you earlier on that we wanted to, to um, use the Glasgow underground, but we didn't ask for permission. And the two guys that we had that came across from Germany which was Martin Possinger and from Belgium we had uh, John Proven who are Simple Minds fans like us, they're simple minded as we would say and um, they weren't aware that we didn't have permission so we, we turned up at the station in Byers Road, we were outside, we had our coffee, they had their tripods and I got a tap on the shoulder from this little woman who was a station manager saying you, you know you can't film here and I says well we're not going to film, she says yeah yeah because those two, those two over there have told us, <laughs> told me already. So um, that's that, that. That that was a whole upshot of that. So we didn't manage to get that done. But the, everything else was a real success, and um, I, I think I think there's a really good spirit on it, and there's a real good energy with all the people that were there. So great fun. When you storyboarded the video, did you have a story to tell? Well, our story was uh, quite simply: the, the three of us were living in Glasgow. And we were all coming from, you know, a sort of different direction um, to a destination which was going to be um, Gordy's Kitchen where we recorded the song and we, we wanted it to be like we were playing as a band in a house party. Um, so that's what happened. So Gordy lives in a big castle, he's coming down a magnificent staircase, a stone staircase in the Hunterian Museum. And then we've got Andy who's coming in the West End, he lives above um, a pub, um, a restaurant in Ashton Lane and it looks like he lives in a loft apartment <laughs> and then you've got me coming off one of the Glasgow Corporation buses coming from uh, Mary Hill going to Castle Milk so aye, it, was, uh, it was a bit ironic George, thank you very much <laughs>